Okay, this is the second Noster Devs. Uh, I think we actually have a few devs that showed up. Uh, Super's going to be going over uh, recent developments in Noster development. And after that, I'm going to show you what I've been working on. And I'm going to announce a little um, hacking bounty. Uh, there will be a 77,000 sat bounty for a real simple hack. It should only take a minute or two. Um, so when I'm done and we're done with the recording, I'll give you guys the challenge and you can start hacking away. I'll turn it over to Super now. Thank you, Jacob. Well, hi, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome once again to the second ever Noster Devs. Woo! I'm going to change my display to 720p, uh, which is this one. Yep. And then I'm going to change this one to 720p. Apply. That should make it much more um, legible. And then let me just check. Is this mirrored? Yes. Changed again. Yeah, I keep changing it. I'm sorry. 720, 720, and. I think each time you switch inputs, I have to do something here as well. Well, it, it keeps turning off mirror. I want, I want it to be mirrored, yes, but I want both of them to be 720p. And it keeps changing it to not that. Keep. That's 720. This one is 720. Apply. So you should all see Telegram. Is that what you see? Does it all look like a full? OK, good. We're back. All right, so we're going to go over, like we did last time, we're going to go over some Noster news. He's going to do a demo. And then we can get to hacking. Sound good? Yeah. Here is the latest Noster uh, news. All my tabs got out of order, I think. Uh, OK. so. First thing I wanted to show you is not this, but everything got out of order. So I'll go in this in the order it came in. Noskull, uh, Noster command line client, is an, is one of the first tools that was written for Noster. Um, Fiat Jeff wrote it, and you can you can download a binary on his site and then check out. Uh, you, you can use these various commands like set a private key, view your public key, publish a message. You can do all the Noster stuff from the command line. And there are many people who like uh, the command line, so I put that in there for those who do. Um, but there are some new ones. Uh, there is Algia, is a new command line interface application for Noster. And this just came out. Uh, it has a few different options. You can view a timeline of events. You can create posts. You can reply to posts. You can repost posts. You can like things. You can delete your own notes or at least you can request that they be deleted. So it's pretty cool. Uh, and you can you use a configuration setting to configure your private key and your relays. Uh, whereas I think not Noskull, the old one, you set them as you, you did it in, a, in the within the command line, you would run a command to set your relay. So that's kind of cool. This one is a, a new version of that. If anyone wants to try it out, it is also written in Go. So you can go to the releases page on its GitHub and check it out. Um, in fact, I will open up Telegraph uh, so that I can telegraph to you guys uh, all of the things we're going over, in case anyone wants to look at them afterwards. Uh, did I spell it wrong? Uh-oh. It doesn't like Telegraph anymore. All right. I'll do it in Notepad. So that's our first link. And what am I going to call this? New command line interface for Noster. Uh, so in addition to that, there's Fiat Jaffs, which is the old, you know, Noskull. So I'm going to put that down as well. Um, the first CLI for Noster is there. And then the second one was Vishalix. Uh, Vishalixel is a Noster developer who made Noster console a long time ago. 
And this one is probably the one that I've seen that's most fully featured. It supports all these features. Um, it does even does lightning invoices and zaps and stuff. So it's pretty cool. And uh, that one is written in uh, Dart, the Dart programming language by Google. Yeah, so this one is the one that I've most often used if I do stuff in the command line. Um, the best CLI for Noster, according to Super, is that one. So if anyone wants to check out CLIs for Noster, I recommend you go see those things. Uh, some other news from this week. Uh, Our Chan came out. Our Chan is uh, a rewrite of 4chan to work on Noster. Uh, and the website is ourchan.org. Uh, so this, this is kind of, from what I can tell, it's probably the first forum software for Noster. Uh, and so let's just, uh, trigger warning, it's designed to be like 4chan, which, is, which has got a bunch of racist stuff on it. So I'm not endorsing anything that's on here. I'm just the fact that it's a forum is cool, uh, even though the stuff on it is not going to be all good. Uh, well, let's just click one of this one. Nope. Hang on. X out of that. So there's forum software for Noster now. And I'm sorry for accidentally displaying bad things. I did not mean to do that. Uh, I thought it was going to be a bunch of racist jokes, and it turned out to be yet worse things. OK. Beyond that, uh, our chan exists now, and people can do terrible things on the internet. Uh, great. Or no, not great, but that's a thing. Coracle updated. This is to get into stuff that's actually family friendly. Coracle has been uh, a longstanding Nostra client for the web, and uh, they updated. This is their new home page, which is, which is a nice one, it looks good, you know, this is them inviting you to use it. Uh, and then I think to actually use it, you go to app.coracle.social now. And uh, so this is what it's supposed to look like. Uh, looks like it is not loading for me very well. I have no notifications. I have no feed. Welcome to Noster. OK, this, is, this part's working. So you can see what people are doing. Here's my friend Topher. You can view his profile. And well, it's mostly not working. But check out Coracle, uh, coracle.social, if you want to see the, one of the latest Noster clients. Uh, Newster is a new one that came out. Uh, Newster is written in Clojure. I think I have some screenshots of how it looks. Um, but I don't know where they went. Let me see. Any USTR? From via Jeff. He posted a picture of what it looks like. There, this picture shows you a little bit of what Nooster looks like. So this is a desktop client for Nooster. It's not for the web. Uh, and I think it looks kind of neat. You can set your relays and settings. Uh, you can view a home page, which looks like this. Uh, so I think that looks kind of cool. It, it's, it reminds me of a Facebook style interface with like a, f a feed on the right and pictures on the left. I've seen that. I think I've, Facebook used to look like that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you've got also a contacts tab and a profile tab, so you can view your own self. Uh, yeah, so good stuff. Uh, Newster is a new, well, I don't, I don't know if it's new, but it has been updated, and it's still working. So check out Newster. I'm going to put that in our little notepad file. Newster client is there, uh, and it's GitHub. is linked into there. Uh, and then I'm going to mention uh, 4chan on Noster is ourchan.org. But I don't recommend going there because it's a bunch of pornography. Um, cool. So that's some news. I already went over Algia, Noster console, and Noskal because it was out of order. This is a new one. Somebody rewrote, uh, made a chat client. Uh, and I was just testing this out right before I started this thing, and it's pretty cool. So this reminds me a lot of Enigma. Uh, it has the, a very similar feel to me. So like, if you create a Noster account, uh, it gives you an easy way to create a name, about picture, about and profile picture, or you can just skip that and jump straight into chat. 
and start talking with people. Hi guys, new to Noster. So yeah, that's I think chat clients really show, in my view, uh, one of the powers of Noster. So it's a very easy way to get started with writing social networking applications. But you can direct message people. Uh, hi, Jimmy. And now I have a direct message with Jimmy Song. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just showing off Noster to people. Uh, you can delete these messages. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna not go back to our chan. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show off is Nblog. Uh, so Nblog is new blogging software that has been written for Noster. Oh, I forgot, I wanted to put uh, Noster chat in, uh, in, the, in the link over here. Uh, Noster chat. So that's a good successor to Enigma. Everyone should use that now uh, because it's cool. Nblog is a really cool way to self-host a blog that looks a lot like Ghost, but um, you can for, you can host it on your own on your own computer. It's just a JavaScript, a Node.js program that you can run, uh, and it looks pretty cool. It looks it looks a lot like Ghost. So here, uh, if I go to blog.coracle.social, uh, this is an example of what it looks like. So here's a post. You know, you've got pictures, you've got text, you've got things you might expect to see in a blog. Um, but yeah, it looks nice, and um, and it works. So you can use nblog if you want to self-host and uh, self-host your own ghost-like blog uh, and host and, and have the content be available on Noster. Although it's apparently a bug because all the posts disappear after a few seconds. So that's not good. Still working on it. Um, there's also a website where you can migrate from Substack to Noster. So if I click this and open it up. If you have posts on Stub Substack, you can post that in here. Uh, apparently, you can also uh, Ghost and WordPress are coming, and I'm guessing that if you do that, it's going to uh, copy your posts over from Substack to Noster, and eventually from Ghost to Noster and WordPress. So that's really cool that uh, we are working on migration tools to migrate from other platforms to Noster. I know there's some for Twitter already. There's some for Mastodon. Now there's some for various blogging platforms to move these over to a more decentralized way to do things. Uh, and I'm particularly excited about blogs because I think I read blogs all day. So um, putting those in a way that doesn't rely on a particular uh, internet service provider or a particular website like WordPress or Ghost uh, is awesome and still have it look nice. So looking forward to more uh, from that direction. But yeah, another th cool thing about um, but Noster is that like if you don't like one interface, if you don't like the end blog interface, there's a bunch of other ones as well, like all of these. So you can view the same um, the same posts if this uh, this one's not loading on three different websites. Uh, let me try this. Yeah, so like you can view the same diff the same posts on three different like websites or three different interfaces because that's the beauty of Noster is that uh, the the client is separated from the back end, or the, the front end is separated from the back end. So you can post a bunch of stuff on the same back end and view it on many different front ends. Uh, so what was this one that I picked? My name is Brutus, so let's find that here. Blogstack.io will let you view the same thing in a different client. And Nblog will let you view it in that client that looks a lot like Ghost. Uh, or this one, read.noster.com. Uh, where do you, how do you find articles on this one? Search, see if I can find this. Can I search by end profile? Submit. We'll let that one think for a minute. But yeah, it's pretty cool that like Nostra lets you view different, view the same content in different ways. Uh, and you can write your own client. If you don't like any of these, platforms or, or interfaces, you can write your own blogging client that lets you view your favorite blogs uh, the way you like. Uh, so yeah, this one's not loading, this author. So still some work to do on all that. But yeah, migrate your posts, check out the new blogging tools on Noster. Uh, this was the picture I showed you earlier from Newster. Uh, a, a post came out on uh, Noster's blogging 
kind called How to Build a Decentralized Wikipedia. And so someone's trying to think about that. Uh, the fact that we can do long form content on Nostra now should help with that because most Wikipedia articles are about the length of a long blog post. Um, so there are some thoughts here on what we can do to build a decentralized Wikipedia. I encourage you to read this stuff. Oh, I forgot to put in uh, nblog, which is here. I will make all of this stuff available to you guys after this. So that's nblog and then the migrate tool. Uh, migrate ghost blogs, or not ghost, um, substack blogs to Noster. That's cool. And then, uh, so, yeah, so if anyone wants to read about that, I will put the link in here. Uh, how to <coughs> a decentralized wiki on Noster. There we go. And then what else do we got? Well, there's a new hackathon coming up, starting today, April 1st, uh, and going through May 20th. There is another ha Nostra hackathon. So we just finished the one by um, Albi, and a lot of great projects came out of that. Car is reviewing some of them, so Car will, Car is here somewhere, and uh, you can ask him about what's been going on with that one because he's one of the judges. But here there is a prize pool of 35 million sats. How much is that? 0.35 BTC. That is worth almost $10,000. $10,000 grand prize for this Nostra Hackathon, or prize pool, rather. And uh, yeah, you should check it out. There is There are different tracks. Uh, one for writing the best NIP, one for writing a good relay or optimizing the relay network. There is a client track, a community and content track, so yeah. That is pretty cool. If anyone wants to win $10,000 hacking away on Noster, uh, new Noster Hackathon, starting today. Um, check that out. And then I think that's it for news of the week. So are there any questions about any of these things? Command line interfaces for Noster, five different new clients for Noster, uh, decentralized Wikipedia, or the new hackathon? Any questions or comments about any of that? No? Cool. Well, I'll turn it over to Jacob then, and he can demonstrate to you Nostra badges. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Before you do that, I want to go over one news item that I forgot to mention, which was that we had a hackathon, uh, Pleb Lab did, just last week, and the winner of the, there was a Nostra category, and the winner of the Nostra category was Austin. Uh, for his GitHub alternative built on Noster. So I want to show you that, but I'm trying to remember how to find it. I think if I go to, hmm? There's a dev server. Is, is it, there's a website for it? It might be on his GitHub dev server. Do you know what his, uh, what Austin, is it Pleb, Pleb, um, I think it's Pleb Dev. Pleb Dev. Repos, Devster. So this one, uh, let me put this in here. Winner of last Master Hackathon. So well, Austin Kelsey dot the Dev Server. Okay. Yeah, I found it. But let's just take a look at it. He's got a link over here to where you can view it. His GitHub alternative based on Noster. Uh, so you can sign in with your GitHub account. So I'll just do that. Yep, sign in with GitHub. Uh, I authorize it to do read and write. And so what this is going to do, um, it's going to give us a Noster public key and private key and let us pick a username. I'll do super testnet. Uh, and it is going to post a gist, a gist on my GitHub uh, that verifies that I am, that this is my uh, Noster profile. Uh, and then once it's there, it's going to start populating um, all of the work I've done, it, like every commit I've made, 
and it's going to post all that on Noster. It's going to post my active repositories and make Noster posts about those, or at least it gives me the option to broadcast them. Um, and it lets me do chat somewhere, or like, I think I can chat with people about my projects. So let's just see what the chat looks like. Refresh. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's working. But this was the winner of the last thing. Uh, if I, so this like links your GitHub to Noster so that you can make uh, repos and stuff on, and simulcast them to GitHub and Noster. And then you have a more, you have like a backup of everything in case you ever get deplatformed by GitHub, uh, you, you'll have backups on Noster, which is pretty neat. So that won uh, the Noster category at the most recent hackathon. And if Austin was here, I would ask him to help with the spinning things. There's probably a quick fix for it. But that's kind of cool. Uh, it also is able to authenticate you. So if I go to my GitHub now and check out my gists, uh, I think it's on gists.github.com slash super test net. I should have a new one, yeah, verifying that that this is my public key, my Nostra public key, the one I just created. And that way uh, you can like, you can view, uh, you can, auth you can if you're wondering if this person on, not on Nostra is really the person on GitHub, you can check their GitHub uh, or vice versa, which is pretty neat. So yeah, linking GitHub to Noster is, is cool, and then uh, he's still working on he's still working on it to bring chat features and other things like stars and forks and follows and stuff. But check all that out. And now that we've go gone over all the news, um, uh, let's uh, turn it over to Jacob so he can go over his second prize winner from the Pleb Lab Hackathon, uh, Badger. Thank you, Jacob. All right, there's so much news happening in Noster development. I don't think we could cover it all in two hours. Uh, so just during that little presentation, uh, it, it brought to mind another project that I've seen in the last few weeks. It's called Not A Bot. And it's for, um, it's, its goal is to create a web of trust of verified users who are not bots. Um, what made me think of it was the idea that came up about, circ what was it, circular verification? Uh, verified credentials. No, there was, something came up earlier about, there was a circularity involved with it, and it made me. Austin's thing verifies you on GitHub, and then your GitHub verifies you on Noster. Uh, it might have been that, but it got, on this not a bot, essentially what you do is you, you go on there and you verify someone. Uh, is my screen visible? Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is not a bot. You can hit control plus a few times, it's kind of small. Sure. So again, the idea is to create a decentralized web of trust where humans will just attest to other users as being humans and not bots. Um, it's an interesting idea, but I'm not really sure if it's gonna work because I could definitely see bots uh, verifying each other. <laughs> and the, uh, where the circularity comes in is that I can't verify a user and then they verify me back. It has to go essentially in a triangle. So they, I can verify a user and then they would verify another user who could verify me. So I'll show you what it looks like. Um, go here sign in, well, <laughs> that sign in doesn't work, but this one does. Okay, so now I'm signed in, and I've already received two verifications, but I need three more to be confirmed as not a bot. And it's surprisingly difficult. Um, here's the, uh, here's the page. Maybe you're just a bot. <laughs> I might be a bot, I mean, who knows, I might just be an AI up here. <laughs> Um, I've given one uh, verification. Uh, I have one more available to give. Because I've received two, I'm able to give up to two. So I could, I could enter an NPUB or, or NIP5 and verify someone. But I was thinking about using this to verify my own profiles. And this is where I don't really trust the system, right? Because I have six profiles. So <laughs> what if I do just a bunch of circular verifications between my own accounts? 
I don't know. I think it's an interesting project, but I'm not completely sold on it. Uh, <laughs> the next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, bridging, and it's kind of related to the idea of importing things from other uh, platforms, like importing Twitter data. Um, uh, one approach is just to like uh, import all the data and abandon the other platform, but there is a role for bridging, where the most effective example is the bridge between Noster and Fediverse. So it actually works pretty seamlessly where you can interact with people through the bridge. Um, but another example is using RSS Lay. Uh, it converts RSS feeds into Noster profiles. So it's not, it's not an actual bridge because it's more one way. I can see what's coming in. Like for example, I can see what's coming in uh, from a Twitter account, but that Twitter user is not gonna see any of the um, replies or engagement. Um, but I do like it because it allows me to just use Noster as my only interface for social media. So you can go to rsslay.noster.mo and let's say there's a Twitter user you wanna follow on Noster. Um, so I wanna follow Capitalist Dog and it looks like, I wanted to test this out, it looks like it is a somewhat fuzzy search so I typed in capitalist dog and I'm getting the result for capitalist dog one, which is his actual username. And it's giving me, uh, it's giving me an NPUB. This is a Noster profile that's tracking that Twitter user. Uh, you can search and see if there's an existing uh, feed, if not, or an existing profile for a feed. If not, you can create one here. But since there's already an existing one, I'm just gonna use this and go to my Noster client, and it brings up his Twitter feed. And this is great for people who haven't migrated to Noster, or maybe they're using Noster and Twitter, but s some of their content is only on Twitter. So I can, I can follow, I can like, reply. Um, I think the best thing to do with this is to uh, repost stuff that you like, and then you can start the conversation on Noster. Uh, so that's, that's RSS Lay. Um, the next thing is I wanna go over the updates that I made in my badging app. So the first thing I did was renamed it to Badger. I think it's a better name than Badge Mint. And uh, so here's the Badger app. Um, and maybe, maybe this will atone for some of the uh, inappropriate content earlier, <laughs> trying to have a more wholesome theme here. Another update that I made was um, I'm using NIP7 extension login. Um, I, I realized that a problem with the previous version, which was this one, is when you enter an NPUB, you could just, you could just enter anyone's NPUB. So it makes it kind of meaningless. So I figured um, if a user is gonna issue a badge to themselves, I should make sure that they're actually issuing, issuing it to themselves. Um, so, so here, clicking this button is gonna require a login. Uh, and this will be a good time to announce the little hack. So if you guys are gonna try to do this hack, you can uh, try to get ready here. Uh, what the hack will be will be to issue the badge to someone who is not you uh, because this is not actually secure. So um, what, you'll, what you'll need to do to win the prize of 77,000 sats is um, issue this badge to Eric Kaysen. So I, I figure this should only take a few minutes, but uh, <laughs> that's the... Uh, Okay, so the URL for this app is noster-badger.forcell app. Uh, who is Eric Kaysen? And Eric Kaysen, the best way to find this user would just be to use um, noster.band search engine, type Eric Kaysen, 
and you will get his, you'll be able to get his NPUB or his HEX user ID. How do you spell his last name? Uh, is C-A-S-O-N. There's two of them. <laughs> uh, that is a good point. And they both have a lot of followers. <laughs> uh, he, it's with a K, Eric with a K. I'm assuming it's the first one that comes up. No, I don't get anything at all. I got it. I'm going to get this thing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's part of the challenge. Part of it is actually finding the user. So, it's to find the user and then use my app to issue him the badge. Uh, this should not be possible because I'm trying to require private key login, but it's not really secure yet. Um, so that's most of what I had to cover. Um, I do have some updates that I want to do for Badger. Um, I want to be able to have multiple badges displayed on this page instead of just one. And I want to make it easier for other people to run their own instance of the app. Because ideally, uh, this is something that anyone who, who creates a badge, they can just run this app. They can run it locally or they can deploy it on Vercel like I did and make their app or make their badge available to anyone who wants it. Done. And that's all I have. All right, looks like we have a winner already. I think I did it. Did okay. Verify? And uh, so that wraps up what I have. I'll go over and see if I can confirm if uh, Super indeed won this little hack. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to explain how I did this. Uh, let me do this by plugging it in. Uh, is my screen plugged in now? Can you see? Can you see badge mint? Badger. Badges. Badges page. Okay. So what I did was um, I'm going to do it in the on incognito window. What was the uh, the Vercel app for it? It was like Noster Badger. Badger. Dot Vercel dot app. Okay. So first thing I did is I went to this page. Uh, which wants you to claim this badge. Uh, where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Is this? Of course. It's doing that thing again. Uh, let me change my display. 720p, yes. And then this is supposed to be 720p. Apply. Keep. OK, now can you see it better? Is it more visible now? All right, great. So first thing I did is go to this page. And on this thing, it has a button to claim this badge. When I clicked it, it says, you need the NIP7 extension. So there, there is an extension. Uh, well, there's a couple of different extensions for the browser that let you log in uh, to, a, to a Nostr supporting website um, using your secret key. Like you plug your secret key into the extension. It derives your public key from it and can sign messages on your behalf. But then you can log into websites without giving them your secret key or your private key because you just give them your public key. The, the extension will do that. So knowing how this extension works, uh, I, don't, I don't happen to have it, but I know what it does because I've, you know, I've been in the Noster space a lot. And I know that it creates an object called window.noster. And uh, I know that likely, it's just going to uh, give the badge to the public key of whoever has the extension installed. So I knew that if I created a function called, oops, called noster dot get public key equals function, uh, and I'm just going to return the public key of someone who I want to get this badge. Uh, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four. That's a public key. So I'm going to just return that whenever this thing says, who, who wants this badge? And now when I click it, it connects to my fake Noster extension that's just that one object and assigns the badge to whatever public key I put in when I did that. So now the user ABABAB -A -B -A -B on Noster has the Bitcoin Believer badge. But I just I, all I had to do was find out what Eric's uh, uh, public key was and then do that with his, and it gave him the public key. So. Is that what you expected for how, to, nice. for how to do it? Yeah. 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 So you can create a Noster extension by just adding um, 
window.noster object to the browser, to your browser, by just injecting that JavaScript in and then adding the functions that Noster supports, like getting a public key, signing a message, and doing all that stuff. So there's a little introduction. If, you, if anyone wants to do a project of designing a Noster extension, it's pretty simple. This is the major syntax right there, Not window.noster equals object. So, yeah. Oh. One more thing, or uh, probably two more things, since now I'm going to have to make the display work again. Uh, display. This should be 720p. Apply. Keep this configuration. Okay. Uh, so I went to. Um, I put. I posted all the links for today on Telegraph. Uh, Noster Devs dash two. You can find the link by going to uh, this tinyurl.com slash Noster dash devs dash two. If you go to that URL, you will see all of the links we went over today. Um, and that'll be helpful because then you can. Well, I suppose I should post a link to Badge Mint as well on our list. So let me do that. How do I. Which one should I go to? Is. For cell the app, yep. mint badges. Okay. So now, if you go to that link, which hasn't changed, uh, tinyurl.com/noster-devs-two, you can see all the links for that we went over today in Noster Devs. And I think that wraps it up as far as presentations go. So, uh, if anyone has any, if anyone has a project they want to hack together. Uh, Jacob and I and Topher are happy to help you uh, get started, and so get hacking, everybody, and we'll be here to answer questions if you want to be like, hey, how do I do this, that, or the other thing? All right, thank you, guys. thank you, everyone.